So this isn't really an in-depth tutorial, but I feel like some people might gain some value from this. While I was editing this, uh, it kind of reminded me of the questions that people had for me. And currently I'm working on a promo for a new glitch pack that I'm working on. But one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to take this video here and I wanna show myself working on the video. So I need to go into uh, Fusion and if I move this, I have my screen cap of this project that I'm working on, right? So I'm gonna go from one to the other. So if I was to, to do that, uh, one of the, and I make both of these clips into a Fusion clip, what's gonna end up happening is once I get into Fusion, the clips aren't going to be the same because, uh, let's actually go to that clip. The clips aren't going to be the same because now this clip here doesn't have the title that it had over, you know, when I screen capped and how it looks on the edit page. And uh, all of the titles now are dynamic. So if I pull the end of a title, it's going to, uh, you know, change the animations to make them last longer or you can make it shorter to make it last shorter. There are some limitations on the shorter part, but... Uh, if I make them longer, what ends up really happening behind the scenes is the uh, the fusion uh, element of it. It just recalculates how many frames. And long story short, it takes that and then it determines where the keyframes need to be placed. Well, if I wanted to add that into this to this clip here, and if I cut right here, what would end up happening, there would be two pieces and each piece would be its own fusion comp. So each element would be a different amount of frames, which then it wouldn't have the same animation. So if I play this quick and let me actually turn off the audio cause it's pretty loud. It has this animation part, right? Where it's animating and it's glitching around and stuff. But if I cut it, it's gonna be two and they're gonna be, you know, um, looked at as their own. So they're gonna start and stop at different points. So to combat that, what we can do is we can take this and we turn this into a compound clip. Now this is a compound clip. Inside this clip, if I come into here, inside this clip, I'm going to uh, have that fusion uh, title here, right? But I'm not going to change the timing on this. Now this is going to have to re-go because it thinks it's on a new timeline, which is perfectly fine. So that can go and do its thing. But now what I can do is I can cut this and once this uh, re-renders that uh, element, now that I have it cut, I can take that and take these two now and turn them into a compound clip. And making those two into a compound clip, now it looks at that as a whole nother clip. So now I have the title and the uh, actual video clip in one compound clip. So if I turn this on and off, now it's all in one compound clip. Now if I take both of these and I turn this now into a fusion comp, or excuse me, fusion clip, and now I go into fusion, now I have both of them in, oops, I have both of them in here and I can edit. And a little plug for my transitions, let's go and add one really quick. If I just go into, let's just do a zo short zoom out and then add these both on, uh, connect this over and we take a look at this. Okay, it's backwards, let's just do that. Okay, now it's back. Now, if I come in, let's come in just a little bit because I actually want this to zoom up to that point. And now if I take a look at this, it's going to, now this is multiple fusion comps <laughs> all together. It's, you know, it's one fusion comp to get the title and then it goes to another one. But, um, and I don't think that one is rendered, but let's see if we can get some type of playback. So then it goes in and it looks, uh, it looks okay. Uh, but I think that that will work for what I needed to do uh, just to go back and show you guys editing. But I felt like when I was making this, it kind of reminded me of previous emails that I just had this week. So now I guess we could take a look at this. There we go. Now it's going back to the other thing here. Let me show you another way to easily ex explain this. So if I just cut here and let's just make another cut and let's just take this little clip and just bring this up. And if I start working with this, you have this dynamic zoom, right? So it's like, it like zooms over the length of the clip. 
But if I wanted it to, if I cut it, what's gonna end up happening is each time it's automatically going to be adding that zoom. But what if I wanted to cut it and not have it do that, but be able to move uh, it around. So right now it has its zoom, right? And if I take this and I make it into a new compound clip, right? And I cut it, now what it'll do is it'll do that smooth zoom because inside here is where that uh, dynamic zoom was added and it wasn't where I made the cut. You have to remember that this is a timeline within a timeline. So if I open this up, this is compound clip three, it's right here. And the effect is added onto this particular clip, but then this clip is inside of a compound clip. Hopefully that makes sense. I know that uh, some people have asked me questions about this, so maybe this makes sense and I thought I would share it to you because now I actually have a practical thing that I recently did, which was this right here um, to show like how they work. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a practical way of using this and taking compound clips and putting them inside of compound clips. Before I didn't really have a reason uh, that made sense, but in this case, this made perfect sense for you know what I was doing. So I thought I'd share with you guys. But with that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching. Thank you.